はい、それでは、えー、アーチュレット選手の試合前インタビューを始めたいと思います。まずはオフィシャルから質問させていただきます。お願いします。はい、よろしくお願いします。えー、それでは大会まであと2日となりましたが、現在の心境を教えてください。So you're two days out of the fight. How do you feel currently?、Uh, currently, I feel great. I'm so excited being here in Japan. It's just like a dream come true, you know. So it's almost,、uh, almost like a dream. I have to pinch myself to wake up every morning. あの、体調絶好調です。とにかく今日本に入れていることに対してすごく興奮をしていて、まさに夢が叶ったような感覚でいますので、本当に毎日朝起きて自分のほっぺたをつねって、あこれは夢じゃないんだっていう、現実なんだっていうのを再確認する日々を、えー、過ごしています。はい、ありがとうございます。それでは改めて対戦相手の印象を教えてください。Um, could you tell us your impression of your opponent?、Uh, yeah, I mean, he is, he's... I'm very excited because we have similar styles. He, we're going to both come to the center of the ring and we're going to give the fans and the audience a very exciting performance. You know, we're both offensive. We're both going to go out there and look for the kill and、uh, we're going to see who sold bricks first. あの非常に似たスタイルの選手だと思うので楽しみにしています。で、二人とも多分、えー、リングの中央で戦って、えー、攻撃的なスタイルで、えー、両方お互いにフィニッシュを狙っていると思いますので、えー、まあ、どちらが勝つかわかりませんが、ああ、そう面白い試合になると思います。ありがとうございます。ご自身でその試合の展開はどういうふうになるとイメージしているか、少し教えていただけますか。So what kind of image do you have for the match? What kind of match do you think it will be? <笑> The image that I have for the match that I've painted over and over in my head is a war, a literal war. This guy comes and he comes forward and he has a very aggressive offense. And so do I. And that makes a very entertaining fight because when you have two fighters, two warriors that want to come and do battle on a battlefield that is known to have great battles, you're in for an exciting treat. For the fans, we're going to come and going to continue to press forward, continue to push offense until one man's will breaks the others, and then you will see the guy that is breaking their will continue to push forward and win the match. あの自分の頭の中では戦争だというふうに思っています。えー、とにかく戦いです。えー、お互い、えー、前に出てきて攻撃的な試合をすると。まあ、そういったあ見ていても非常に面白い試合になるかと思いますで。お互いとにかくぶつかり合って気持ちが先に来れた方が負けると思います。はい、ありがとうございます。それでは海外メディアの方にお願いいたします。はい、ペンドルセン。Juan, first and foremost,、uh, really excited for you, you know, to get this opportunity. I got to say, no one fires me up for a fight talking about you know, this sport like you do.、Uh, everyone knows you know, it's promotion versus promotion. Some fighters will say you know, it's for the legacy and the history of it all. But more than that, it's not just something on your record, it's something where Juan Archuleta is now known globally. Not that you weren't already, but you know, when, when the calendar turns to 2023 here in the States, There will be such a historic fight on, on your resume. So, with that being said, what does that mean to you globally, legacy wise, and just overall when you look back 20 years from now? Not that I want you to ever stop fighting, but it, it'll mean so much more. It's one thing making history、uh, and being on a card that's fighting promotion against promotion, Bellator versus Ryzen. And then it's a whole nother stage when you bring it to Ryzen on New Year's Eve, where MMA had first started here in Japan. And 
to be able to cement my name into the legacy books, into the history books of saying Juan Archuleta came and took away the show that was made for certain fighters, but everyone remembered Sucho Kim and Juan Archuleta's fight overall. That's what we're pushing for. That's where I'm excited about because the ones that came before me, the Shogun, who was the Dan Hendersons, the Mentora brothers, the, you know, um, Genki Sudo, uh, you got Kid Yamamoto, you know, this is the land of enrichment for mixed martial arts. And so I'm very honored, very excited, very just, I mean, I'm so thrilled about being able to perform here. And now, to come here and do it, to mark history, promotion against promotion, Bellator versus Risen's best, Bellator's best, you're coming in, you're gonna, we're gonna go headstrong, five versus five. I mean, if that doesn't fire you up, you, you gotta go home because uh, this ain't made, this stage isn't made for you. I'm very ということで、歴史的なイベントになると思いますし、そういった大谷さんが出るような非常に声も思います。で、またそれがライジンのお味噌場というさらなるライブ大と行われるということで、この勝者がファンアチレットであると。いうことで世界にそんな自分の名を届かせたいというふうに思っています。で、また日本で言いますと、須藤ベニク選手とか山本ヒート選手といったやはりそういった選手を輩出していますので、そういったところで戦われているのは本当に素晴らしいことだと思
out of his whole roster selected five fighters that he knew can come to any fighting arena and fight against anyone's rules that were thrown at them. We are hand selected by the emperor. This goes back into like my ancestor days where, you know, in the Mesoamerica, there were certain warriors that were selected to go out there after tribes to capture humans and make human sacrifices. And those were called Jaguar warriors. And that's what I feel like I am right now. I feel like I'm a Jaguar warrior hand selected by the emperor to go and capture an opponent for him, capture someone's soul and bring it to his table. And that's how I feel this fight's going to happen. I got to go in there. I got to be fast. I got to be quick. I got to be agile. It doesn't matter the terrain. It doesn't matter who I'm performing in front of. I have one job to do and that's go and capture this guy's soul. And so I'm going to put on the uniform to go out there and perform for my organization, and that's Bellator. えっと質問としましては、えっとまあこいつルールとの違いですとか、まあリング上でのトレーニングといったあ準備どのようにやってきましたでしょうかと。あのまあもちろん回答としましては、もちろんあのリングでのトレーニングもやってはしていますけども、まあ戦いは戦いです。まあ本当にそういうもう戦いに違いはないというふうに思っています。で、今回、えー、スコット・コーガ会長が、あ選んだ、あ5人、えー、どんなことにも対応できる5人、えー、の中の1人として選ばれたと思いますので、えー、自分の気持ちとしては、あ皇帝に、えー、選ばれた、あジャガーの選手であるというふうに思っています。で、えー、どういった、あ環境だろうが、あ自分としては戦うだけですし、えー、こういった、あところでも自分の良さを見せたいというふうに思っています。You sound more than ready to、uh, create a memory here at, at this historic event. And you also mentioned some of the greats of Japanese MMA. You mentioned Genki Sudo. And I'm wondering, do you have a favorite memory、uh, from Japanese MMA, be it Pride or anywhere else,、uh, that inspires you? Oh, yeah. I mean, there's, there's so many fights that I've continued to watch. I mean, Kid Yamamoto is flying me knockouts by far. I mean, they erupt in arenas, you know, and、uh, Dan Henderson and、uh, Shogun, who, I mean,、uh, Wanderlei Silva's fights. I mean,、um, Krokop, you got, I mean, I don't have a favorite. It's just like there's so many good memory fights here, but I tell you what's going to be. My favorite is going to be when I come here and I put on a performance, and me and Su Cho Kim lay everything out on the line for our fans and for the promotion to show who truly is the best. あの質問としましては、日本の MMA で印象に残っている試合などありますでしょうかと答えとしましては、あの当然山本キッ選手とかあとあのダンヘンダーソン。バンダレーシューバー、ミルボクロボックスといった選手が日本で戦っている映像はもう何回も何回も見ていますし、えー、そういった中で一番選ぶのは、まあ、難しいんですけども自分としては今回のキム選手との試合が一番になるというふうに思っていますのでそのように戦いたいと思います。Thanks, Juan. Best luck. Go to Ed. Juan, I, I don't remember the last time I've seen you this fired up. Um, come to think of it, I think it was in 2019 when you picked up a knockout victory in New York and you looked over your left shoulder and asked Coker that she said you wanted to come to Japan and fight. And a couple years later, here you are ready to go. So, can you just talk about how how are you sit, keeping yourself focused? Because it, it almost looks like you're ready to jump out of the chair right now. <laughs> so, how are you keeping yourself focused and ready for, for New Year's Eve? Uh, to keep myself focused, I have to, like I said, rub my ear a little bit, right? Wusa, and、uh, kind of wake myself up and know that I, I'm two days away, you know, two days away from making history and two days away from really performing in front of the fans that are here. I've been able to really dive deep into the culture, go into Ome farms and be welcomed by people for them to home cook me meals and bring meals that were organic and part of my diet. Because it's very hard here in the city to find very healthy food for the people around here. So, going to farmers markets and making sure you're going out and exploring and making sure you can stay up on your diet and finding the people. Here, Japanese love is 
their culture is food. They, they, they have so much food here and that's their love language, similar to the Hispanic culture. And so I'm very honored. And that's what kind of helps me keep me at ease and remember what I'm doing this for. It's for the people. It's for the people here in Japan. And that's why I've been wanting to come here and fight uh, throughout my whole career is because I knew what this culture was going to bring and what it was going to instill into my, my bloodline. It's been in my DNA since then, day one. Um, I know that my ancestors have fought and killed and got wounded to for me to be here. And I got to pay homage back to that. And the land of the rising sun where the Bushido code is still real here. The Bushido code still carries strong. You just have to go and find it and the spirit will take you there. And I'm very honored that it has chosen me to take me to certain places to experience different cultures. And uh, the even bringing my kids, they got to experience it as well. And so that's what kind of keeps me at ease and kind of keeps me level until fight night comes. え、と、あの、で、え、ここ、ま、日々続くに、で、武士道は生き続けているとまし、え、そういった精神、え、文化にも触れながら、ま、試合に向けて集中していきたいというふうに考えています。Andrew. Hey Juan, uh quick question for you. So I remember uh a few years ago, I think it was around 2019, you had called out another rising fighter, Mikuru Azakura. I'm curious to know, you win this fight, would you be interested in potentially fighting him, considering that he is probably, I would, I would definitely say, the most popular fighter in all of Ryzen currently? Yeah, I mean, I got a big task at hand here. Um, you know, Sucho Kim is one of the best fighters uh, in the world. He had the 1FC belt, Road FC belt. And so to get through this test first and show how well I could perform here and then continue my global dominance is that's definitely uh, what I want to do. You know, Asakura didn't want the fight before. I doubt that he would want the fight after he sees me perform live. And, um, but if he's willing to accept defeat here in his hometown and in his, in his own country by, by my hands, then I am more than willing to take that and run with it. You know, I'm here for Japan and I'm here to perform and for myself, most importantly, but to build new fans and give these guys the experience of a lifetime. えっと、質問としましては、えっと、えっと、ただ、はい、ありがとうございます。え、それでは、え、実況の高橋アナお願いできますでしょうか。はい、え、当日実況担当いたします。高橋です。よろしくお願いいたします。まず確認なんですが、リングで戦うのは今回が初めてということでよろしいでし
to fight. You know, I called out Kron Gracie. I fought out. I've tried to fight uh, a couple other fighters that fought for Horizon, but never came to fruition. But uh, this, the, look at the battlefield. Don't matter. I'm here to fight. It if it was in the street, whether if it was in a house, whether it was in a car, <laughs> whether it was you know in a cage. It doesn't matter. I'm here to fight. えっと、以前、あの、でも、ありがとうございます。あの、入場の時につけてるかぶとはどんな思いでいつから着用していますか。So I have culture roots, um, so you know, with them calling me the Spaniard, I decided to get it from Spain and, and wear it, and um, that was in like uh, 2018, I believe. あの、私のニックネームがスパニアドというものなんですけども、ま、私の中にはスペインとそしてアメリカのネイティブアメリカンの血が流れています。Again, it's hard to pick your favorite character. It's like each episode you have a new favorite character because of the way the show is brought in. But um, I really like Go Tanks when they infused together. That was really cool. And I've seen it the first time. I was like, me and my friends always thought like we could infuse together and create powers and uh, be able to wrestle in a wrestling match together. And we always thought it would be cool and try it, but it never worked. So. But um, yeah, I think Go Tanks, you know, was awesome because of the uh, Majin Buu fights, and you know, it, there were, there were, it was just an amazing show. But I think from the original Dragon Ball Z, it definitely has to be Goku, right? Like he, that was a hard worker that always was persistent with hard work, trained his butt off, and that's who I am. I'm a guy that goes out there and trains his butt off, and. Every day I'm in the gym. Every day I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to better my family, better my the people around me, explore new new cultures, and just travel and follow the real martial arts code. And that is to help those around you and build and ex experience different cultures and learn new ways and bring it all together and then pass it down to the next generation. え、彼と一緒にレスリングとかでいろいろと彼の名を挙げざるを得ないかと思います。で、地獄を見せるという意味なのか、それとも自分も地獄の戦いに身を投じる覚悟があるという意味なのか。そしてあなたにとって戦うとはどんなことか、これを聞いていただければと思います。um, so I uh, heard you previously mention something sort of like, um, you know, you're going to show the uh, 15 minutes of hell. Does that mean that he's going to see hell or are you going to put yourself into hell also? And uh, what kind of a uh, hell fight do you think it will be? 
Listen, I'm willing to go to the deepest depths of hell to get a victory. And that's dragging him with me. I don't, I know where my conditioning is. I know how hard I can push my body. I know where I could take myself mentally, physically, and spiritually to get a victory. I don't think he does. I don't think he understands why I train so hard, why I wake up day in and day out to be so diligent in my work that it shows in my performances. I'm going to drag him with me and I'm going to pull him down as much as I can all the way down to hell. And if I have to go with him to get this victory, I will. あの私としてはあ地獄の底まで彼を引きずり込んで、えー、戦って勝つという覚悟はできています、えー、勝つための精神努力といったものは私にはありますが彼にはそういったものは備わっていないというふうに考えています、えー、とにかく彼を地獄の底まで引きずり込んでそして自分もそこの中に飛び込んで、えー、戦って勝ちたいというふうに思っていますなるほどはいあとあの、戦うということ、どんなことなんでしょうかあなたにとって、戦うということ、どんな意味があるんでしょうか so,、uh, what is, uh, fighting for you? What does it mean to you? Fighting is an expression. It's a way of life. You don't choose fighting. Fighting chooses you. You don't choose to be a samurai. A samurai life chooses you. And so, for me, I never had a choice on it. It came up every day for me. And Every day I was surrounded by fighting. Every day I was training to fight. Every day I was fighting to live. And so fighting was in my DNA from my ancestors from the beginning of time. And then I'm going to continue to carry that to now and pass that down to my generation.、Um, fighting is a way of life for me. And it's an expression that I have. It's the way to show all these people around me that view my fighting who I am. You know, an MMA road, a, a martial artist road will always be a rounded road because you never know where it's going to take you. It's going to never be a straight road ahead. And that's why we fight so hard for、uh, every MMA fighter is because the roads, the bumps, the bruises, the, the agony, the tyranny, the, the hills you have to climb and go up and through, it's very t- tedious. It's very hard. And I don't wish it upon anyone. Only that, and that's why fighting chooses you because it's not meant for everyone. People could talk about it, people could write about it, people could think they know what we're in there doing, but until you really travel with me and come with me and see what I do, you won't know. えっと、自分の戦いというのは自分の表現方法の一つであると思います。で、また自分が戦いを選ぶというのではなく、戦いに自分が選ばれるというものだというふうにも思っています。私としては、戦いの中で生きてきました。毎日が戦いでした。人生の一部であります。でえー、また戦いというものは自分が何であるかということを証明するためのものであります。で、えー、総合格闘技のはあの非常に険しい道ですけども誰も誰にもできるものではありません。そういった意味でもやはり自分が戦いに選ばれるということになるのかというふうに思います。ありがとうございます。以上です。<笑>はい、それでは、えー、オリコンさんお願いします。オリコンニュースの井原氏と申します、えー。来日してからですね、アーチュレッター選手、日本のいろんなところに行ってる動画を、えー、インスタにアップされてますけれども、一番印象的だった日本の場所を教えていただけますでしょうか、um, So since you've come to Japan,、uh, we've seen the videos、uh, that you posted on Instagram,、uh, going many to various places in Japan. Which was the most interesting or most、uh, uh, memorable place that you've seen so far? So far for me, it's been Ome Farms,、uh, experiencing a real Japanese barbecue. We ate boar, we ate couscous, we ate、uh, homegrown vegetables and regenerative soil. And that's my type of lifestyle. I'm a farmer, I have a farm. And so to be able to see the farm and the culture that some of these farmers outside of Tokyo, how they raise their food, is very similar to how we raise our food in California, my family and I. So, to experience, and I, I'm, I'm also a hunter as well. So, to be able to eat a harvest、uh, boar that was harvested that Friday, cook it, 
eat it and then being sent home to me, it was amazing. That's that's something that my kids and I will never forget. And you don't understand culture until you really eat the food from the from 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 the the na nation that's here, uh, because you're giving back to the. We, I'm not living on the land. I'm living with the land. And that's very important for my culture and, and the Native American community because we don't take away from the, the land what we don't need. We only take what we need and give back. So to see the way that they live and see that here in Japan, has, it would, I will always remember it in my heart. And, and, and it was like a warm hug when it's very cold outside. And that's what it felt like. えっと、自分としては、まあ、農家を訪れて、えー、そこで、えーまあ、自然食とかあお物となったあこ,とだと思いあのことが印象に残っています。で、えーまあ、イノシシを食べたり、えーとまあ、自分としても農家でもありますし、ハンターでもありますので、イノシシを捕らえて、えー、調理して食べたといったような経験が自分としては印象に残っています。で、また、あの自分の考えとしてはあの、その土地、に住んでいるというのではなく、その土地と共存しているというふうな考え方を持っていますので、そういったあの面でも、そういう、日本でもそういう姿が見られて、非常に自分としてはそういったことが印象に残っています。もう一つお伺いします。試合が終わって体のダメージが少なかった場合、日本で行ってみたいところは他にありますでしょうか um, Is there any other place you would like to go after your match? Uh, yes, I'm here till actually.、Uh, I'm scheduled to leave January 16th, but I might even move it back farther because I want to experience more of the Japanese culture. And I didn't come here with a schedule.、Uh, I came here to talk to people and understand where is the best place to visit in Japan. Where are some things that I could teach my kids?、Um, At a very young age, that look at you don't have to be confined to one country, that you could travel around the world, and people are just people, and they want to be able to communicate and love one, each other,、uh, one another and be able to share things. That's what life truly is about is education from one culture to the other, to show we are all human and we can all come together and really take away the power from the government that we don't need. Right? We don't need the government to, to rely on. All we need is one another. And that's why I want to show my kids at a very young age. When you come to a different country and you show someone the respect that you want to be shown, you treat people how you want to be treated, that is true love. And so that's what I want to experience while I'm here in Japan and have experience. So I would like to experience that more after this fight. Right now, I'm kind of a little gritty. I'm ready to fight. <laughs> But、uh, after that, right, I want to experience love. I want to go ex experience real Japanese culture, whether that's hunting, snowboarding, fishing, eating, and telling stories. That's what I want to do. えっとまあ、自分としてはあの1月16日に帰国する予定ではあるんですけども、場合によってはもっと遅らせてもいいかというふうに思っています。でそういった中で、まあ、特にきあのガチガチにスケジュールを決めるというのではなく、日本のどこを見に行けばいいかというのを聞きながら、人々と触れ合ったり、でまたあの、子どもたちにもやっぱりいろんなところを見せて歩きたいと思いますし、日本の教育や文化あといったものがどれほど大切かというのをいろいろと知ってもらいたいというふうに思っています。でまたあのお互いにそういった交流する中でお互いに支え合っていくということができれば本当に素晴らしいことだと思います、まあ、ただ今はあ気持ちとしては本当に戦いに向けて、えー、戦いたいという一心なんですけどもその後はあのは真の日本文化に触れたいと思いますし子どもたちにも触れ合ってもらい触れてもらいたいというふうに考えていますはいそれでは最後に売野さんと一応お願いしますアコチジャパン、ワンアーチレーター、ユーアウェイズブリンクファイアーインダーユーアファイトゥーアラトゥーアンフォーアロンタイムユーアスケダーシャーインライティングデインファイナルハーペン、ハウハウディスモチベリユーチューブリンゴンサゲンユーユーライフユーファイトゥースタイルユーユーノウウスペシャルユーアンアカウトゥーインユーライティングあのベラトルではあのいつも火花散るような戦いを見せてくれていますけども、まあ、今回日本で戦う機会があるということで、えー、日本ではどのような戦いを見せてくれるでしょうか。いや、I mean, 
the reason why I've always wanted to come to Japan to fight was because Japan really understands mixed martial arts. They don't just understand stand up, punch each other until someone gets knocked out. Yeah, it's fun and exciting, but to take someone down, to show a true complexity of mixed martial arts, where you can have wrestling, Aikido, Jiu Jitsu, kickboxing, Muay Thai, boxing, you have all these martial arts and you're ended up blending them together. That's what Japanese culture really loves. And they clap, they're excited to see the takedowns, they're excited to see the wrestling, the judo throws, the submission attempts, the getting out of submissions. And I feel like that is my game. I've done it for years and I continue to do it for years that I, finishing a fight's gonna happen, right? And, and, and if it happens, it happens. But no one could always put on 15 minutes of offense. I know I'm that person that can. I could go forward and not worry about making a mistake because I can get out of those mistakes. And it's not a mistake because that opponent's good as well. You're fighting the very best of that opponent at night. And so I want to bring a performance. I don't want to bring a knockout, a submission that was just, oh, I caught him. If it happens, it happens. That's martial arts. I want to show Japanese fans real mixed martial arts, the blend of everything together and show them who I truly am as a martial artist. And that's what I'm excited to do on New Year's Eve, on New Year's Eve on, on Risen versus Bellator. It's going to be amazing, I promise. え、デノトタバイトしては、あの、ミックスとマーシャルアーツと言ったものを見せたいと思います。スタンディングだけではない。え、レスリングもあれば、エキゾ、柔術、サブミッションをかけたい、そこからの手出したいと言ったような非常に